In this episode of 10 Best Ones, we are going to check out the top 5 best binoculars in 2018. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see the price and find out more information about these binoculars, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. Ok, so, let's get started with the video. At number 5, we have the Carson VP series. Carson Optical, which is a company created by Richard Cameron became a company which started offering its own range of binoculars and other products such as magnifiers. Today, they are one of the most popular binocular manufacturers in the market, and in my opinion they definitely do deserve their reputation. Carson always comes to mind when we mention high-quality products. They have a wide range of options you can choose from, and they can be used for wildlife tours, bird watching, traveling and more. The VP series, are the highest quality range provided by the company. The VP series comes with roof prisms and offers 5 variants under the series ranging from the largest 12x50 variant to the most compact, the 10x25 variant. These binoculars come with phase correction coating on the prism glass which is waterproof, which means that you can use them even if it starts raining. I can easily say that this series of binoculars are one of the best budget options out there, because they do provide you value for the price you pay. They have a ton of features which can compete with the binoculars in the higher price range. Some of the most notable ones are that they have a waterproof body, phase corrected prism, down twisted eye cups and they are tripod friendly. Please note that when you purchase them, they don't come with a tripod, but you can buy one separately. One of the most notable things about these binoculars, is their so-called, no fault, no hassle warranty, which means that they are very confident about their products and that they will replace or repair your binoculars no matter how they got damaged. They have a compact, lightweight and ergonomically friendly design which makes its handling easier and more efficient, especially while on a safari or other shaky rides, and they come with a portable case which provides great protection for your binoculars when you're on a hike or in the jungle. To conclude, I would say that the VP series contain some of the best binoculars out there because they have a fit for every need, and the best part is that they don't cost a lot. If it's your first time purchasing a pair of binoculars, I would highly recommend the Carson VP series. Moving on, at number 4, we have the Athlon Optics Midas 8x42. Considering the features, instruments and the components of these binoculars, I can say that these are a pair of binoculars that provide the best value for your money. The Midas series has a few models, but I think that the 8x42 configuration is the best option for almost any user. The Athlon Optics Midas has a single bridge body shape that is used on roof prism binoculars, and to be honest they do look similar to 90% of the other binoculars out there. Do not get discouraged, because this is a good sign that the design of these binoculars have been tried and tested to be functional. The body is constructed of a magnesium chassis which is a bit heavier than the traditional polycarbonate bodies, but this makes it more robust and less vulnerable to temperature-related contraction which can sometimes cause some optical misalignments. This happens rarely on binoculars with polycarbonate chassis and is not a serious issue, but I just wanted to mention it because it's a good thing to know. The outer surface contains rubberized material which makes it easy to hold and is less reflective. This means that they will be hard to notice from a distance which increases their stealthiness, which is a very important thing for hunters. Enough talking about the design and the body. Now, we will see what makes them deserve their position in this list. What's impressing about these binoculars is the use of high-end optical components at this low price range. The 42mm objective lenses contain elements made from glass that have extra low dispersion abilities, which means that they are able to better direct the wavelengths of light which finally results to a sharper image. Considering these are 8x42 binoculars, they have a viewing angle of 8.1 degrees. This is pretty impressive if you ask me. The advantages to a wide view are numerous but includes making it easier to locate your potential target and then follow it. To conclude, I would say that these are a great pair of binoculars and for the price, you really are getting a bargain and many, many more features and components than the vast majority of their direct competitors. Next up, at number 3, we have the Vortex Optics Diamondback. The Vortex Optics Diamondback binoculars can be easily called a buy it for life product, because the most notable thing about them is their durability. Its roof prism design is both lightweight and well-balanced, so this means that these binoculars can be a great option for hunters. 
the hinge construction looks long enough to withstand most drops and bumps without twisting and strong enough to stand up to regular use. These binoculars come with a regular vortex strap and they are properly cushioned with a cushion that slides on the strap. It also comes with a padded carrying case which is molded and that makes it easier to carry it around. A thing I loved is their eye cups, because they will let you use the binoculars with or without eyeglasses, and you won't notice any difference at all. They have a right diopter to adjust for the difference in vision between your two eyes, in addition to the center focus wheel. If you remember, earlier we mentioned that the Carson VP series can be mounted on a tripod. The Vortex Optics Diamondback binoculars can also do the same, but unfortunately, they do not come with a tripod included and you will have to buy one separately. A thing I would like to mention is that Vortex Optics specializes in sport optics, so you know they are pouring all their resources into a limited number of related products, like binoculars and rifle scopes. Some other companies are in many different markets, and they can't dedicate all of their power into one product line like Vortex Optics does. Overall, I would say that this pair of binoculars is a great option for people that want to go hunting on the field, and I would recommend them to everyone mainly because they are lightweight and very durable, so if you plan on hunting on rough terrains, the durability of these binoculars alone will make up for its price. Moving on, at number 2, we have the Nikon 7548 Monarch 7. You've probably heard that Nikon makes very high-quality products, and this one is not an exception. The Nikon Monarch 7 is a great binocular which has a lot of features and components which make them one of the best options available in the market today. This pair is an excellent general-purpose binocular with bright and clear optics, and it is lighter weight, more compact, and with a better close-focus range and field of view than the low-light specialist, the Nikon Monarch 5. The focusing on these binoculars is very fast and smooth, which means that you can move them from far to close objects quickly without losing any focus. The chassis for these binoculars is made of polycarbonate with fiberglass reinforcement which means that they are pretty durable and that makes them the lightest 42mm binoculars without yielding quality in its construction or optics. Compared to other products in this category, this is a pretty good sign. The Monarch 7 is very easy to hold and the binoculars have great ergonomics which lets you use them for a longer time without making you feel any discomfort in your hands. Another great thing about the Monarch 7 is that they are fog-proof and water-proof, which means that you can use them in rough weather conditions without having to worry about anything at all. The points where moisture would creep in are sealed with O-rings and lubricants that are effective across a range of temperatures. This makes it possible to use these binoculars in areas of high humidity without undue worries about the optical coatings inside being eaten by fungus. It also seals out dust too, which is a great thing. The amount of eye relief provided by the Nikon Monarch 7 is quite good for eyeglass wearers and we doubt that most will be disappointed in this area, because they have included around 17mm of eye relief which is more than enough for most people that wear eyeglasses. Overall, I would recommend these binoculars to everyone because they are very high quality and can be used for many different things such as birding, astronomy, sports, racing, hunting and more flawlessly. And finally, at number 1, we have the Zeiss 8x42 Victory HT. Birders by 20 or more years in the field can perhaps recall when the Zeiss name was identical with attractive much the premium binocular one could own. The Victory binocular line was Zeiss bid to recall that marketplace share, but while an outstanding optic, Victory binoculars didn't stimulate the faithfulness amongst birders that the old classic dialect bees did. Zeiss seemingly did some marketplace investigation, and the latest entry in the Victory line, the FLs, is much more good-looking to the high-end birding optics customer. Zeiss Victory FLs originate in 7x, 8x and 10x42 replicas. The Victory FL is a roof prism binocular, and like all roof prisms today, they are completely closed and nitrogen eliminated to be dust-proof, outwardly fog-proof and waterproof. Zeiss has their branded T** multi-coating on all interior surfaces to improve light broadcast, exploit color loyalty, and minimalize alteration and color deviation. Well, the glass is fluoride rather than the barium, potassium, back used by greatest binocular producers today. However we couldn't brand an in-depth judgment against all the top producers, we related the Victory FLs with every other high-end 42M binocular we had presented and it beat them all for brightness. The color reliability is brilliant, we noticed no bias of any kind. 
The Victory FLs have a 330-foot arena of estimation at 1,000 yards, which is between the widest of high-end 10x binoculars. We restrained the lowest close focus at 5.75 feet with solitary slight collapse at the edges of the field. We renowned that the Zeiss Victory FLs are a bit narrow in terms of their depth of field, however not inelegantly so. If there is a hit on the Victory FL binocular, it originates at the limits of the arena. The FL has a soft edge, the principal flat is diverse at the edge, so when the midpoint is sharp, the edge is a bit hazy and vice versa. It's a shared effect even in the most luxurious binoculars, and it is limited to the limits wherever it doesn't much touch possessions. To conclude, I would say that these are a great option for anyone, because they can be used for many different reasons. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future, and if you have any questions related to these binoculars, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.